In the icy pre-dawn hours of a torrential Sunday on May 26, 2013, an oppressive darkness shrouded the vast expanse off Nigeria's coast. The sinister waters enveloped the tugboat Jaskin 4, whose mission was as colossal as the relentless waves that threatened it, securing a massive oil tanker. A behemoth vessel bursting with gasoline rested from Chevron's oceanic platform. The tanker, a pivotal cog in the $3 billion industry, was mercilessly thrown about by the gods of the tempestuous sea in the midst of a storm that seemed to hold nature's wrath at its zenith. The diminutive yet potent Jaskin IV bore the Herculean task of tethering the giant, preventing an ecological catastrophe. Amid this churning chaos, 29-year-old Harrison O'Keen, the heart and soul of the tug's galley, began his day. For him, the threat of titanic waves, the potential for fiery doom, and the ever-present perils of the deep were just mere footnotes to his everyday life. Ensuring a well-cooked pounded yam fufu took precedence, a nod to some semblance of normalcy amid the turmoil. Navigating through the vessel's eerie, dim-lit innards, O'Keen, dressed only in his undergarments, made his way to the bathroom, a sanctuary before his culinary duties began. But fate's cruel twist awaited. As he sat, a monstrous wave, nature's cold, wet fist, smashed into Jaskin IV. The world turned upside down, literally. Engulfed in the dark, watery turmoil, O'Keen was wrenched from his sanctuary, Every corner of the ship screamed of danger as cold water began its relentless invasion. Racing against time, he tried to reach an emergency hatch, only to witness the chilling sight of his mates being consumed by the torrential surge. Desperation pushed O'Keen deeper into the vessel's bowels. With walls of water chasing him, he managed to breach the officer's cabin. But even there, no refugee awaited. The unyielding deluge pushed him into an adjoining bathroom, and the tugboat, now an underwater coffin, sealed its fate, plunging into the inky abyss below. Yet, Okin's spirit did not waver. Trapped in a bubble of precious air, surrounded by the foreboding darkness, he clung to life with every ounce of will. Every tick of the clock echoed louder than the last, a grim reminder of his dwindling air supply and the relentless cold that gnawed at his flesh. Outside, the storm relented, but hope seemed bleak. The challenges of rescuing from a submerged, inverted ship deep in treacherous waters seemed insurmountable even to seasoned divers. But for 60 grueling hours, Harrison Oaken, the ship's cook, clung to his fragile lifeline. Reduced to instincts, he crafted a rudimentary raft from bits of wreckage to keep himself out of the freezing water. In that haunting silence, the only sounds that reverberated were the ghostly whispers of his crewmates, whose bodies were claimed by the unseen denizens of the deep. Three agonizing days later, the silent darkness was pierced by the dim glow of divers' flashlights. As a diver approached, O'Keen, drawing on every last reserve, managed to alert him to his presence. The beam of light became the beacon of hope that he so desperately clung to. Even when rescue was at hand, the trials weren't over. Due to the risk of decompression sickness, he had to endure another 60 hours in confinement. Emerging from his dark ordeal, Harrison O'Keen became a testament to human resilience. His harrowing 62-hour entrapment is a story etched into the annals of maritime history, a reminder of the indomitable spirit of man against the might of nature.